The Puku and Impala rest in shifts. They need this time to chew the cud to extract nutrients from their meager grass diet. Sitting ducks for the huntress. It almost seems unfair. Malaika's light-sensitive eyes mean she can see the Impala, while they are practically blind on this moonless night. But darkness heightens other senses. So her challenge is silence. The battle lines are drawn. Sight versus sound. To grab an impala, Malaika must crawl to within a single body length before she pounces. But her pugnacious shadow betrays her. The hyena's arrival reveals her position, and the element of surprise is gone. Time to change location. The hyena seems determined to follow her, but maybe she can use the distraction. It's easier to infiltrate the herd while they're restless. Their hoofbeats mask any sound she makes. This chaos is her opportunity. The herd's still on edge. While the Puku worry about the hyena, she sneaks in closer. Creating the perfect ambush. And then, like clockwork, the bandit is here to collect. It's a mountain of meat because of her skill and effort, and she won't get a bite. But it's difficult to fight someone double your weight. And certainly not two hyenas. Better to leave while they're distracted and kill again. Mm -hmm. 